was it two days they just sent it? Huh? I sort of, sort of bam and you put them on for hours or something like that, but when you've had them on for two days they start to fuck with it. Anyway. Australia 3, Brazil 1, making their way to the list. Started there. So the Brazilians already oh, down big there. First knock down there. Yeah, took a huge risk there going in with a kick charge. However, big melee there on that list. A whole bunch of ovens. There's some good aggression here from the Australians who seem to have got that visor loose, who have pushed him oh, free. Brazilian down. Taken down on Australia. Down he was him. down on one knee, actually. Well, I think he was for this angle. And Brazilian and loses his weapon. The Australians not letting him get away. Oh, they're setting him down. Yep. No, well, that was Good called. Class. It was the, the last fight. one. It was three against one left in the list. Yeah, the Brazilian took a big risk there with that kick. Brazilians moving out early. And a nice grapple there. Yeah, take them down the other side. They've both gone down, however. Quite work there. Some nice movement there from a Brazilian. They've got a good runner loose. Lost a weapon. Grab one is now he's gonna be back in. Uh, oh, trying to go for a big run. Oh, kick. Almost, almost got succeeded. it. They've taken down one of the uh, Australians there. It might be three versus two now. Wow. And uh, there it is. Three versus one. That should be the end and of it That is there. stopped. Well, that's a great victory there for Brazil. Brazil will be very happy there.
still planning to get one more fighter in the list. Each so far. No. So into the side and already you got uh, one issue go down one and Australian down and it was in two Australians down, two Brazilians down. Wow. Oh, oh almost great called up that move that you absolutely yep. love. Oh, I do love that. Fortunately, doesn't quite have that technique down just yet. That's two versus two. These Brazilians now. Only working on those phones, going far back to defend himself. The Australian, they very nearly fell over his own fighter who's grounded. Yeah, good footwork there to avoid that. Yep. That Brazilian is still pushing back there. That Australian might end up. No, he's pushing back now. And they're both down together. It's one versus one. One versus one, right down to the wire. This. And that's it. And they're together. Clock. We go to one round. more round. First fight, we go to four rounds. Brazilians, you can see here, staying wide there. Oh, try to go for it. So Couldn't close. I would enough. have loved that. But I mean, it's a seriously difficult move to pull off, and it's just not often that it happens. Fact is, impressive that he it half worked. Yeah. I mean, the Australian was down very low, so it was never going to be easy. is now being asked to hurry it up. Heavy breathing there. Yeah. So, oh! Big early one there, knocked straight Rushing out. Blow with a shield there. An early advantage to the Australians. Yep. And again, I think some of these early rush tactics from the Brazilians are still a little bit naive. Uh, we saw the early kick that they went for, which didn't work. There goes Australian fighter down. And that's an Australian goes, fighter down. Oh, and he goes down with that Brazilian. Uh, two there. of them down now. There's a Brazilian who is loose. Two so, two. Yep. Yeah. Very close again. Can it go to another round? Well, again, they're all starting to tie, you can see. But now, wrapping that whole arm round, it's not going to do himself any favours either. He's going to find that difficult to break out of, but they have moved to the list there. Still. Oh, yeah, now it is two, two against one, one for Australia. You can see how tired they are now, barely able to get the strikes in. However, the Brazilian not moving anywhere. And the uh, Australian on the that near side. Out, not that axe using yep. Australians to try and get out of that so we can use it. He's yep. done so. Brazilian looks very tired now. Yep. He's an Australian teammate to move really to get the strike. He does, in. yeah. He's not going to be able to strike there from there. Go. He's going for the hip. There and that go. is it. Victory for Australia. Now we have USA 3, France 2. And 
that was hard fought that. That was very hard fought. You see that great striking power from the Brazilian, who of course was off balance there, and therefore foul. A lot more aggression coming from Brazil, I have to say. Yeah, I was very impressed with them. After an early loss to Mexico 1, they yep. really got back into their stride a little yeah. bit this fight. Right, they're now calling Ukraine 2 and Serbia 1. There must have been a reason why they've moved that fight. Well, Here comes Ukraine. Quite a bit. And like coming up now, I think we've got Brazil versus Australia. Now, Brazil versus Australia, you've got um, a pretty new team here with an experienced team, but with a very, very mixed style. So let's ask you to check out some of the speed. There, again, a very Amazing front kick by that Australian to stop that Brazilian in his tracks, put him on his ass, and very quickly now they've got the advantage. Quite naive of the Brazil, you know, to think he could go in like that and That's go for a, the first a forward fight. attack Didn't straight work. on, looking the guy in the eyes. You have to be extremely strong to be able to get away. But look at the strength and the aggression from the Australian fighters. Unfortunately. However, again, they're losing their footing quite a lot. We have seen that with yep. Australia 3. We have. Uh, that Brazilian has been disarmed. And it's three versus one at this point. You see three Australians. That's the point of course. So the yep. first round, of course, went to the Australians and deservedly so. Indeed. We saw, even though Brazil are a new team, they've got some great speed as we saw against Ukraine. They are still quite naive in terms of their starting attack. That first lunge was, was going to end in trouble. And here and we are now with the advantage. second round. Some of the Brazilians again going for that initial yeah. forward charge. And you can see that's where they start getting aggressive. That one Brazilian who is loose. Great Very work, good runner. Good quickly, quickly going to rearm himself there, now having you lost can his see weapon. That armor there. Now we were speaking about before. Tell us about that armor that the fighters so wear. So what we've been told by uh, an Australian marshal is that later period armor there is entirely titanium, weighing in at a total of only about 12 kilos. 12 kilos. Which is hugely light. I mean, the average harness without a helmet, you're looking at maybe 20 kilos. So it's going to be 12. That's and it's quite a, something. That's a, that's a big advantage, for experience, but especially for an experienced rider. How much is that kind of kit going to cost you? In full titanium, I think we're looking at like something like 7,000 euros. 7,000 euros, yeah. Especially for, I mean, it's about the filigree and detailing of that armor as well. Yeah. You see here, uh, in this round, the Brazilians took it. They did. They got right back to the Australians. They closed them in, so there's less room to maneuver. And the Australians once again had a problem of losing their footing. So this went to a third and final round, and this to me was where it got interesting. Now the Australia, Australia three team, uh, they had a few long rounds. They, were, um, they had a couple of draws, so it really went out. They must have been tired. Yeah, they were probably feeling the day at this point. Yeah, and it's it really is stamina that counts at this point. And you can see at this point you've got Australians who are dropping. And he really Great went. There. He, he tried to go for that yeah. flip. I was really hoping for I that. I know it's one of your oh favourite moves, but he just couldn't <laughs> quite pull it off. It was unlikely, but you see, it went down to a two versus two situation. And again, managed to avoid going over the downed fighter on his own team, the Australian there. Very tentative, though. They're not quite sure the aggression on their knees. I would, I would argue that he's out the list already. there, actually. Yeah. At least half of his body was out, but he goes down so with that fighter. Down, and it went down to one versus one. I think we're about to see the Brazilian throw you off. Oh, yeah. they go down together. That was a draw. Much closer. A couple of errors that we've seen. One of the first rounds went to four. Yep. Footwork uh, is, it can be quite difficult for both of these teams. So Brazil seem to have the speed, but they just don't quite have the grounding with their footing. And they're not reactive enough. But I think that comes with experience. I mean, you're seeing, you're seeing the Brazilians here trying to pull off moves that you would expect more from an experienced team. Yeah. And, they're not, and they're not completely fudging it. They are pulling some they're of them off. They're not afraid to do it, are they're they? Not they're not they're afraid not to take a risk and see if that risk pays off. Yeah. So full credit to the Brazilians who have got their second year in uh, Battle of the Nations and now go into the uh, next round of this, that one being a draw, of course. They but they the have round. improved a considerable amount since last year in Barcelona. Yeah, there's no, no question there. I think they've done amazingly well. Yeah. And they're having a, they've travelled so far, they're having a difficult time here, but they, 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 they glue so well together. Yeah, they, they, they gel, gel really well as a team. Yeah. Really and again, again that initial charge that doesn't work. And, that's, and they, again, it's one of the signs of, of a team that haven't quite got that experience yet. Yeah. Three rounds they've tried it, twice it ended up in an immediate knockdown. That's right. You see the naivety of him. Lack of experience shining through. He's tried it, it's failed, but he's done it again. It's simply not going to work this time. Yeah, he went for third time to charm, unfortunately yeah. it was not. 
Brake crashed there though. Took that nuts really if I just very, drove very away. Effective. So you can see the strength of the Brazilians. Both the Australians went down there with less two versus two. So very, very evenly matched these two. And that was the whole point. That was the whole point, of course, of choosing this uh, flight so we could review it again. We could see things which can which need to develop quite a bit, but still are quite evenly matched. Yeah, Brazil doing well as well because Australia definitely have the height and weight advantage. Yeah. Overall, as a, as a complete eight. Certainly, uh, Brazil have got the uh, great the take down by that Australian yeah. fighter there. Great foot behind the, the Brazilian's leg and push. Yeah. Classic takedown. This is where, of course, it got very difficult for the Brazilian fighter. He was heavily pressed against that lift. You can see the Australian fighter putting all of his weight down on him. And, of course, with the assistance of that big Australian fighter in the background, well, there's not much he can do at this point. He can't use his weapon. He's got no access to his arms. He can't release his arms from the lift. That Australian putting himself out and so he can, can start using the axe. But he's getting lethargic. He's very, very tired. Unfortunately, so are the Australians, it looks like. You can see that, yeah. Yep, trying to get those big hits in. They're successful, and there, is, and there yeah. it is. That was a very, very hard fought battle. Tough four rounds. Yeah. Really tough. So, a, a couple of really interesting fights. Uh,